Dang it. Hello friends. Welcome to Good Better Vest. I'm Mike Vest and this is my music room under construction to put up some wall racks from String Swing. So it's kind of a review of their wall racks as well. This is what we're trying to do. I think the hardest part for me is I want to be able to pull the guitar down without it hitting the ceiling. So we've looked online, can't find anything about like distance from ceiling. So I think this is just gonna be personal preference. So I'll give you those details later. I wanted it tall enough that I could have them uh, a, top, a top rack, then so the guitar didn't hang too far down for the second rack. That's where we are right now. How are we going to figure this all out? I think this is just personal preference because there's nothing I found online of preferred height from the top of the ceiling. There are several guitars we've had to take into consideration. The height of the headstock, the length of the body, the size of the guitar. How are we going to do this? Here we go. Let's figure this out. This is just a fake brick wall that we got at Home Depot. This is three panels that we took and my wife colored. She actually, because the grout was black, she wanted it have this certain vibe to it. Now we just need to get the guitars up on the wall. I'm very impressed with String Swing's quality so far. They have a metal rack. So we need to put them up where they're going to go. We think we have where we want them to go and then mark a line on the top and then mark where the studs are. They recommend that it goes into at least three studs. It says four. I don't think it could just with the spacing of our studs. We made sure we got three stud marks on the wall and then we'll mark where the studs are in these grooves here. We'll drill through the metal, put it back up. This is not in their step, but we're going to do this. We're going to drill, once we hold it back up on the wall, we're going to drill through what we've already drilled into the stud to give us some pilot holes for the screws so we're not just drilling the screws straight into the studs. Hopefully we'll be done soon. Once we finally decided on the measurements, getting the first rack up was fairly easy, but my wife had an idea to make putting the second rack up even easier. So she took some painter's tape and spread it across and marked where the studs were. Then we put that painter's tape on the second rack so we could more easily drill the holes for where the studs were. Also, I used a metal triangle to make sure the holes were lined up, and my wife made me put on safety goggles because there were little metal chips everywhere. But. At least she looks like she's having a good time, right? Well, that was fun. We did it. We got this up. And the part I was worried about most was the spacing. And if you look, it turned out pretty good. This room is seven feet, 10 inches high. And the top of this, of this wall rack is seven and a half inches from the top. And then from the bottom of the rack to the top of the next one is 37 and a half inches. And from the bottom of this rack to the floor is 39 inches. I couldn't find measurements online anywhere to help me make my decision. So we just had to make this up. So I hope this helps you when you are going to put up a wall rack. Now let me give you a few things about String Swing. I love this. The, the make, the build, wonderful. And the reason I chose them over another company is because, like their name says, the neck holder swings. It can rock back and forth to fit headstocks and adjust to the headstocks, which is great. 
Love this. Lots of companies use string swing in their displays in their stores or at events, and it's supposed to be as nitrocellulose safe as you can get, meaning it won't damage the finish of the guitars. I love the wall connection. It gives you multiple points. They have others that you can get, but I chose this one because you can adjust it with an Allen wrench here. You can tighten this here and put it whatever angle you need. Hopefully you can see that. I wanted to be able to control that. Great material, I love it. When I called String Swing to order, make my order, they were so helpful. I do need to call them again. Two of the hangers came bent like this. I don't even know how that happens because this is like solid. Uh, I will keep you posted on what I hear from their customer service about this issue. But other than that, I am so impressed with this company and what it's done, it's giving me a space where we can take our good and make it better and take our better and make it best. I'm super excited. Please subscribe, join me on this journey, and as always, comment. I'd love to hear from you. Peace. <laughs> Nailed it.